those flashing lights behind you. And apparently this was remnants of Hurricane Debbie. Yeah, you know, I think for a moment we thought we could take a deep breath. We would be in the clear. Not so much. You feel terrible for the folks who are still experiencing the power outages. Now they've got this one-two punch right here playing out along a Merriman right here at Weathervane. We're way off in the distance. Photojournalist Dave Kraska is zooming in to show you these several street sweepers that have brought out to try to remove all of this cake down mud, the floodwaters. They still have this portion of the roadway closed. And Dave, let's pan. I know this is going to be a very long pan over here to show these additional crews that are coming out to put up some of these roadblocks right here at the exact corner of Merriman at Weathervane. And if we can pan even a little bit more, Dave, I know this is super challenging, so I appreciate you doing this. All the way over here, you can actually see this very large truck just stalled out, stopped right here at the intersection. That's because they don't want any additional folks to go through this area and get stuck. Now, it has been very stressful and daunting for these crews, even worse for some of these drivers who attempted to brave it. We have to stress, do not drive through standing water. Do not drive through these dark areas. It is a mess, and it will continue to be that way throughout the course of this day. Let's jump into this video, though, because this is not the only problem spot. This right here was the scene 30 minutes out in Barberton. Heavy rainfall made way for extreme flooding along 14th Southwest, right near Shannon. Around 1 o'clock this morning, we captured Barberton fire crews rescuing a stranded mother and a baby from knee-deep waters. They luckily got them to safety. The water, though, so deep in these streets, it was difficult to walk through. Try driving a nightmare. Five people we know, including several kids, were rescued from this location. And then take a look right here. This is I-76 at Barber Road. Cars are in park, stuck in that standing water. Some attempted to drive through. Others just stalled out with their hazards on. And at one point, we watched an ambulance carefully drive through this area. And right here along the Merriman Valley, where we are live, inches of mud cake to the roadway. These drivers' cars stuck in inches of mud and flood water. We did watch, probably I want to say like 30, 40 minutes ago, a tow truck rolled through here and successfully got them out. So that is a true blessing. No one hurt, no one killed. Some folks, though, again, abandoning those vehicles altogether. And let's take you live this morning. These are live images from photojournalist Antonio Corona. This is at the Lake County Captain's Stadium area right here in East Lake. So many folks are still dealing with no power for a fourth day. And what you're hopefully seeing right here are several trucks out there getting ready to get to work. This is a look at some of the thousands of crews that are in Northeast Ohio right now working around the clock to restore services. But right now, here's the problem. First Energy still reporting nearly 200,000 customers are waiting on services to be restored. You have to factor in 147,000 alone in Cuyahoga County. In some instances, I know I hate to say this, First Energy reporting power won't be restored until possibly Wednesday the 14th. In the meantime, back out here live in the Merriman Valley area. This is another live look at all of those crews way, way off in the distance. It's hard to make out with the flashing lights. In some cases, these businesses are closed throughout the day. Cleanup will continue. As you can see now, this truck passing through. We were going to try to go a little bit closer down there, but the problem, guys, back in studio is you don't know what you're walking through. The, the big thing, I mean, it sounds stereotypical at this point. You know, you got to watch out for those loose manhole covers. That's no joke. So we want to point out if you're walking this morning, if you're riding a bike, if you're trying to head to work, please, please be careful and watch out for these road closures. Any other debris that could be in the area or those roadways, we'll stay on top of it. And as soon as I get any new info, I'll break back in. Back to you. The incredible scene. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's been quite the mess over the past few days here in Northeast Ohio. Trent, the biggest